Hi, everyone, and welcome to Dear Cheekies. This is a brand new addition to my Cheekies and Chill podcast. And if you haven't heard it, go check it out. Those episodes are longer and more in depth. But here on Dear Cheekies, episodes are a lot more intimate, and it's a chance for me to connect with you, the listeners, on a personal level. Every week, I'm answering your questions on love, relationships, and more. Submit your questions at speakpipe.com slash cheekies and chill podcast. Last week's questions were really great, and I can't wait to dive into a couple more this week. So let's do it. Let's press play and get into the first question. Hey, girl. So before asking you my question, I also just wanted to let you know that you are amazing. You are an honor to carry the Latina name. We're proud of you. I'm proud to be a Latina, and I'm proud of what you represent. And just wanted to say that. My question would be regarding finances. I know because I've been a fan of your mom and you throughout the years that in episodes, you were able to show us that you had a shopping problem. I don't know if finance would be correct, but um, I wanted to know how did you learn to budget? How did you learn to budget? How did you learn to cut down on your spending? And how do you invest? Um, from one shopaholic to a maybe previous shopaholic, um, I would like some advice on that on how to start getting myself together to build a future for myself. Yari, I love your question. And first of all, Mama, thank you so much for supporting my career, my mom's career, for following us on you know the reality shows and everything, and for that beautiful message. You made my heart smile. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, look. <laughs> budgeting is it's a tough one. I think it's just with time you start learning and valuing what money is in your life. What I started doing personally was if I got a check for $200, I would put $50 of that check in a savings account. I would say, "Okay, I'm going to go on a trip or I want to buy myself X Y or Z, whatever it may be." I was just putting no matter what a certain amount on the side for me to save just for a rainy day or for a special event or occasion. I can honestly say I've gotten a lot better. I don't shop as much as I used to. I think when I had that shopping issue was because I was trying to fill a void in my heart, something that was missing in my life. And again, it wasn't my money. It was my mom's money. So it was just easy for me to just slide the card and use her money to buy stuff. And then when I started earning my own money, I started realizing, okay, this is hard. You know, it's not easy to earn this amount of money. So I have to really be mindful of it and be frugal. I would give myself a little bit of therapy all the time. And obviously, cuando te cuesta, pues lo sientes. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. And then just knowing that, especially because I'm self-employed, I need to have a savings account. I need to have a backup. And that helped me out a lot. And now when I go to the store, I ask myself, okay, do I really need this purse? Is this a luxury or is this a necessity? And most of the time it's a luxury. I don't need it. You know what I mean? Like it's just really asking yourself those questions. I don't know if this happens to you, but every time I go to Target, I go in for one thing and I come out with so many things. I've learned to say, I'm here for this. And I'm going to buy things that I need, not that I want. So I still find myself in those predicaments. But now I just don't really have the time to shop as much. But now it's online shopping. So you got to be careful with that too. So it's just always ask yourself, do I want this or do I need this? Especially nowadays. Let's think about the necessities of life. Another thing that really helped me is knowing that the money that I have coming in, yes, it's for me, but it's also how can I bless other people with what God is blessing me with? So I always put a little to the side to, to give back in some way. That has also helped me a lot. It's just, you know, paying it forward, you know? And if you want to know more about this, because I speak about it more in depth, go to uh, my Cheekies and Chill podcast, and it's called My Relationship with Money. I have an episode all about it. So Yadi, I hope that that helped a little bit. I can go on and on about this. But I do appreciate uh, your question and taking the time to submit your question. Okay. Te mando un abrazo, mama. Thank you so much. So that was a great question. And I think it's one that is important for all of us to know a little bit more about. 
So let's get into the next question from Annette. Dear Chiquis, it has been four years since I last spoke to my mom. She is very toxic and not good for my mental health, but I miss her and I still can't get over that heartbreak. Help me. How do I get over it? Oh, Annette, you're going to make me cry. (laughs) This is a very touchy topic for me (sighs) because, believe me, obviously our parents brought us into this world. They're important and we should always honor them. But if your mother is toxic and makes you feel worse rather than better, then it's okay to love her from afar. If you miss her, tell her. Send her a message. Send her flowers. Just say, hey, mom, thinking about you. I know we haven't talked in a long time, but I love you. Boom. You know what I mean? Send her the flowers. You don't even have to see her. Pero si te nace en el corazón to go see her, then do so. When you miss someone, don't ignore that feeling. Call them. Text them. Send them flowers like I just said. But don't ignore that. It's okay to not have a relationship with her, like a mother-daughter relationship, until maybe, you know, she realizes that she can change a little bit as well. But there's no shame in loving her. You know, there's someone in my family that I don't have a relationship with anymore. But once in a while, I'll be like, hey, I hope you're good. And that's it. You know, you don't have to have a day-to-day relationship to still love the person and to still honor them. And if you miss them, girl, tell her you miss her. Just tell her, even if you don't get a response, as long as you let that be known. And I'm praying for you and your mom. I hope the relationship gets better. I don't know what happened. If she is toxic, let's pray for her. Let's send her love and light. Y a ti te mando un abrazo because I hear it in your voice. I know it's breaking your heart, mama. But don't ignore that. Don't be prideful. Don't let pride and ego are what kill love the fastest. So just let it, let it be known. That's my advice to you, mama. So thank you for your question. These questions, oh my goodness, guys, they were, they were good. These questions are really making my heart feel some type of way. So thank you guys so much for submitting them. Thank you all for submitting your questions. And just a friendly reminder to speak to a therapist if you're struggling with an issue or hardship. I've said this many times, but I'm going to say it again. I really think I was put on this earth to help others, and I'll continue to do so in any way that I possibly can, especially using my platform. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next Wednesday with another episode of Dear Cheekies. Once again, you can submit your questions at speakpipe.com slash Cheekies and Chill Podcasts. Hasta luego. Besitos. This is a production of iHeartRadio and My Cultura Podcast Network. Follow us on Instagram at My Cultura Podcasts. And follow me, Chiquis, that's C-H-I-Q-U-I-S. For more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.